guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting through step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. And he landed the right hand there. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice punch land over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Trying to establish that jab once again. The guard lands the right hand. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. How about that shin? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice straight right lands. Under three minutes remain in round one. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Oh. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Oh, single collar tie here. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Keep this up. Keep this up. 
Just missed with that right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Oh! of his reach advantage there with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Blocks the shot. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Oh, nice jab. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, everybody take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch into those strikes. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous one. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Troy gets caught with that punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Gedalia's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed with the left there. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Hands high, hands high. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Misses with the right hand. Oh, huge block. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Wild attempt with the right hand there. 
Ooh, what a punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Straight right is there. Nice kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. Straight punch lands. tie and they separate yeah. starting to do some really significant damage to the body here another strike lands there just out of range with that left hook it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gedalia. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent worried about. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the court? Leg kick. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Ten seconds remain in round two. Straight right hand now just misses. All right, round three coming up next. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Effective strike there by Choi. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here, Tom. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Beautiful kick. Oh, nice. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. There's no tell. 
and when he feels his opponent is getting... And Dahlia gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Nice punch there by Chor. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Good stick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see... Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice, nice right here. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh man, head kick land. 15 seconds. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Just misses with the punch by Gedalia. Nice head kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he eats a knee. Cadelia's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Pinpoint execution on that punch there. And again, he's got a huge reach advantage over the opposition. He might as well use it. He did so effectively there. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Joy's shot is blocked. <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 
big head kick lands. Good punch land. All right, single collar time now. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. That one appeared to stun him. He's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh, he might be out. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain out big strikes in your opponent. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Oh!